G'day, good morning, this is Tarek. Wherever you are in the world, by the way, g'day is often known as good day, so it's a good old Australian slang. I'm really glad to present this workout of the week. Uh, and this one is the side load shouldering smash. So a bit of a mouthful there. Um, what I'm aiming to do is not simply just give you a workout, but obviously to break down each and every one of the movements so that there's a rationale, there's a reasoning, and obviously a big why. We've always got to ask ourselves, what is the purpose of each and every one of those movements um, and have a bit of a thought process accordingly. So we've got here uh, a few series of movements that we're going to eventually link into one flowing movement. Now it's side load, meaning it's an asymmetrical based workout. And like any kind of workout, what we say is just try not to go into these gear four or five or higher intensities all the time. Remember what I say is just have mindful movement whenever we're doing each of the sequence. How does it feel? You know, how does one side feel compared to the other? And that's the key with asymmetrically loaded movements. In this case, we're using a um, functional bag from Dingo Sandbags. It's very soft. Obviously, a lot of us may have used this equipment before. Very good segue into kettlebells, barbells, etc. So the first movement I'm going to show you is a two um, side loader, side loaded um, positions, shouldering positions. So I'll start on my left side here. All right. So let's dissect this movement a little bit. So here, if I'm going on my left, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the bag kind of a north um, to south position. From here I'm going to create this tension in the arms. I don't want to be lifting obviously in a poor biomechanical position. Here create some good lengthening tension in the muscles feed into the ground. Now as I throw the bag up, so I'm going to explode the bag one vertical line and cushion it onto the shoulder. Now really note how I actually uh, grab it on, onto that shoulder. So here, see here I'm actually squeezing the outsides because what happens is the sand here in sandbag is different to what a power bag is it'll shift a lot more so it's harder when I do transitionary movements that's the key challenge so we want to get a good firm grip and then release unhinge okay so from here unhinge so we've got two on the left side there after my second one I'm going to position myself into a, a prisoner get up Okay, so essentially that's going onto the knees here, reverse, looking forward, tucking in, holding position, from here, position. And now these ones are more stability based movements, so we don't want to rush them. One leg back, looking forward, other one, reposition, there, there's two there. So when we do the prisoner get ups, create stability in each of those movements so don't simply just rush to get up and get down quality of movement feel that point of stability each and every step now from there i'm going to continue on this left side from here we're going to get into side loaded squats one of my favorites um, essentially what we often do is we take clients away well not away so to speak but we might start clients in zercher it's very symmetrical and when i go on to the side load shouldering it's asymmetrical so obviously the load is positioned here the right side is having to switch on strongly to stabilize and counter that weight and there's obviously what there's a term called neural mirroring as well so the right side is going to learn what's happening or what the left side is doing so often if you have a stronger side let that teach the weaker side so from here I'm going to position four squats again and up nice and smooth Now from here, I'm gonna leave the bag um, on the shoulder. It actually remains. So what I've been showing you is a breakdown of each movement. Obviously, I'll tie it in in a moment. From here now is the key. When I hold this, if I've got it in the wrong position, it's gonna be hard for me to transition to the opposite shoulder. So have a look here. From here. So we're going to do four of those in a moment. So it's going to be, that's one to the right, to the left, and there's four on that side. 
Now from here, we're gonna do some lower body movements. And we're gonna go into, in the workout it says step, but it means step lunge. So from here, I'm gonna go with my right leg first. Again, why? Operating those sling systems. So I've got the anterior working strongly, which helps to stabilize the pelvis. Often in gait movement, but also things like a lunge here, stabilizing through the sling system. So we're gonna do six forward and then six reverse. When I go reverse, it's the same leg going back. Now, what I want you to note as you're going through this is to feel what the other side's doing. In this case, my right side was working strongly all the time. So I was kind of always somewhat aware of that. If we switch off, that's where injury can occur. Secondly, if we go through it rapidly, obviously we're not knowing um, or, or we're really getting in tune with the body. So we can often get injured simply rushing through it. So we want quality of movement to slow it down. Let's go through one complete sequence. The aim of this workout is 12 minutes AMRAP. Now with weights, we didn't put a particular selection. So what, I, what we say at FTI, just start conservatively, okay? Females, 10 kilos, males, 15. Remember, it's all relative. We gotta go and assess where the client's at, or where you're at even. All right, so let's, let's start the whole sequence. I'll shut up now. <laughs> And I'm not going to really bore you going on the other side. That's for you and your challenge. After the left side, right side, have as much rest as you need. But remember, 12 minutes, you might get somewhere between three and four rounds. Try it outside like I have here. Barefoot, in the sun, lovely. Indoors is fine. Remember, simple piece of equipment, guys. Keep it simple. Firstly, practice and rehearse each of the movements before you tie it into one complete workout. That's me, I, I worked out beforehand, so I'm finished with today. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to uh, add some likes, give us some love, and uh, click the link if you're interested in our masterclass. We have several that will be running uh, throughout the country in the coming weeks and months. So there'll be a link there that good old Big Kev will be putting up. Thanks for watching, guys.